fire. Air. Water. Long ago, before nations lived together in harmony, then everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> Just messing with you guys. Anywho, ladies and gentlemen, Welcome, I am Master RBG, and today we shall be reviewing Rivals of Aether, which, believe it or not, after almost three years being here on YouTube, this will actually be my first fighting game review. I know, weird, right? I totally would have expected I've done this at least once before, but as it turns out, no, no I have not. Well, let's go ahead and change that right now, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into it. Here is Rivals of Aether. Rivals of Aether, there we go. Okay, we're gonna go for local, solo, obviously. And uh, let's go with story mode. Got a lot of options here, but we're just gonna stick with story. Okay. So we got like six different options from the get-go. And I assume that once I've unlocked all the endings for these six areas and six characters, that I unlock something else. Maybe a seventh character? Although I'm pretty sure there's more than seven characters in this game, so I'm not quite sure. But hey, we'll figure it out as we go along, right? <laughs> okay. So while I like the designs of these characters, I am not super thrilled with their names. Rastor? It's really not a very cool name. Crag. Okay, Crag's not a bad name. Let's go with him. Crag's life is slow and meditative. His people, the wall builders, devote their entire lives to maintaining the great rock wall. They alone wield the power to manipulate great masses of stone. Most wall builders are born on the wall and will circle the entire Aetherian forest three times during their lifetimes, never setting foot on the ground below. Well, that's a little depressing. They really can't do anything else with their lives other than roll around on that wall. Oh, dude, we're facing off against the Fire Lion. Ooh! Okay, that was a cheap shot. Okay, let me get, uh, let me get a handle on these controls. Alright, jumping, obviously. Ooh! I can Sonic Spin! Nice! I've actually played Smash Brothers. He actually controls better than Sonic in that form. Oh, that was too easy. Way too easy. Oh, sweet. Got a silver medal. And some coins. By the way, the coins unlock stuff in this game. One day, Krag comes upon a huge breach in the northern wall. He's never seen such destruction, and he fears what threat may have entered the forest. Oh, while we meditate on that, let's beat up somebody. Or Kane. The strange dog... Dolphin... Oh wait, no, Orca. He's a dog Orca thing. Who wields the power of water. But right now I'm wielding the element of whooping his behind. Okay. Haha. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah. Ooh, gold medal. Very nice. Sweet. A few fights later. Okay, what do we got? What the? Is that guy using smoke? Looks like some sort of a... I think this guy's an assassin or something. Oh, come. What in the name of Naruto is going on around here? He can clone himself? What the heck is this? <sighs> okay, so I guess this guy's a ninja or something. He's using smoke screens, creating doppelgangers, and he uses a short knife, which may or may not be a kunai. I can't actually tell. Ooh, I can make ground come up. That's pretty cool. Need to try and figure out how to do that again. Darn it, he killed me. Oh, I'm so revenge killing. Get out here, you sneaky so and so. Haha! 
Okay, well, I think that's about enough of the regular story mode for now. Uh, no, I don't want to make the profile just yet. Um, yeah. Okay, we're going to go into practice mode so we can get a better feel for how the moves work. Now, funny thing is, I did... Oh, there are alternate color swaps on this. Okay, neat. I was wondering if that was even a thing. All right, sweet. Uh, yeah, so I was looking up information on this game on the internet, and what I looked up, most of the information dated back from, like, 2016, and according to it, there was only, like, eight or nine characters. But obviously, from that character select screen there's at least 12. So obviously this game's gotten quite a few up to- oh shoot. Uh, nobody saw that, right? This is a small YouTube channel, probably nobody saw that. Oh my gosh, that's an awesome hazard! Oh hey, that's a pretty cool up jab. Neat. I really think I picked especially well picking this character. Ooh, I have like a spiky shield thing. That's pretty. Oh, very nice. I can summon a Tower of Earth. That is awesome. Okay, so what he lacks in like, you know, air control, he can kind of make up for in a lot of other things. Oh, okay. My Tower of Earth can only sustain somebody for so long. Okay, well, that's good to know too. Oh, dude, that is awesome! Wait, wasn't that from his intro? I think it is from his intro. That is awesome. Oh my gosh, it continues? Like, if I'm on one platform and I start using the attack, it'll keep going if the opponent falls off the platform? That is awesome! Oh man, that is cool. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was Rivals of Aether. A surprisingly solid 2D fighter. I, I'm going to be perfectly honest, I didn't expect anywhere near as much out of it as I got. Uh, and it's a surprisingly robust little package. I mean, good lord. It's got a practice mode, it has a tutorial mode, it has an endless abyss mode, it has a story mode. It has local co-op, well, not co-op, it is a local fighting mode, so, you know, couch, multiplayer, which, let's face it, aside from indies and Nintendo themselves, is almost dead. It's got online multiplayer, so if you want to fight somebody across the world in a match, you can feel free to do so. It's got indie cameos from other indie games, like uh, Ori from Ori in the Blind Forest. Which, spoiler warning, I plan to do a review of in the not-too-distant future. So if you come back around here in, uh, say, February, you're probably going to see a review for it. Don't know exactly when in February, though, but it is on the docket. So, have that be known. There are a number of interesting characters. Again, not really feeling the names for most of them, but that's okay. Yeah, I, d I don't have to like every last aspect. Uh... There's been a lot of updates to this game since it originally came out. Uh, it is currently available on Xbox One. It's available on the Switch. So it's portable now, which feels eerily appropriate for this game. Uh, it's available, of course, on Steam for, you know, Windows. And by the way, this was made by Dan Forness. By the way, Dan, I apologize if I messed up your last name. I'm trying my best here, buddy. Anywho, he's one of the people behind Super Smash Lands, which was a demake of Super Smash Brothers. So, if the mechanics from this seem familiar, there's a reason why. It was based on a demake of Super Smash Brothers. So, that's why the mechanics feel so familiar to anyone who's a fan of Smash Brothers. Which is good because, let's face it, the Switch doesn't have a version of Smash Brothers yet. So, this might tide you over for a little bit. Just saying. And for about 15 bucks, hey, you could do a heck of a lot worse than this, trust me. <laughs> oh, it is a wonderful little package for that price. 
Anywho, I certainly enjoyed it. If you are a fighting game fan, especially if you are a fan of Super Smash Brothers, then I highly recommend this game to you. Uh, do bear in mind there are no wall, there aren't any ledge grabs like in Smash Brothers, and there doesn't appear to be much of an emphasis on blocking. There, there's a small minor parrying mechanic, but that's about it. But overall, definitely gets my seal of approval. That about does it for me this time, guys. I enjoyed making this. I certainly hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, leave me a like right down there. Hit that like button for me. If you'd like to see more of my nonsense in the future, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to make sure that you are alerted the moment I put up some new content. Become part of the notification squad, fam. You know what to do. Anywho. That does it for me this week. If you'd like some suggestions for other videos by yours truly, then uh, how about these? You can check out my review from last week for the very bizarre platformer, No Time to Explain. Or you can click over here and check out my review for the excellent puzzler, Human Resource Machine. Check out either one, they're both fantastic just like you guys have been. Well, that does it for me this time, guys. Until next we meet, this is Master RBG, signing off.